Hey, what's up, guys? Billy here again, and I just wanted to go over uh, three plays that I threw into both of the chats as well as the private students. Um, so we had been in the voice chat for a good hour, two hours or so almost, and I decided to walk away for lunchtime. Uh, all the volume was going to slow down, as it already was, technically. And so I posted Spy, Disney, and AMD before I left with a bunch of levels that I thought were very, very crucial and you could play off of. And uh, I just wanted to go over the results of them before market closed. Uh, actually, we're in power hour. I'll probably go back and trade a little bit and then come back and do the watchlist review video. But uh, I posted Spy. And these are all the levels I had posted. This 236.7 was about where it was at. Um, just go over the levels there. I chose that level because that was the pre-market. That was hard for it to get up there. There because it was uh, a good another support or resistance. Sorry. At SPY, AMD, and I left the extended hours open a little wide so people could see um, why I chose some of these intraday levels. And then Disney, which I don't do Disney a whole lot, but someone had been bringing it up in chat, so I decided to put Disney on there, and it happened to work out. So let's go see how this played out. Let's close all that. Get out of here. So we had about 236.71. Then she popped up towards the 230, 239, sorry, then 239.40. Actually, wait, I don't have to do any of this. Here we go. So let's see how Spy did first since that was the one we were going over. So Spy had popped up off that level a little bit afterwards and then ran as volume picked up actually during lunch. That's kind of cool. So that was a really good play. I dropped results for this one and uh, no, no, I dropped the results for Disney in both chats. I didn't show Spy or AMD. So that's why I wanted to make this video just to go over why I, why I posted them. So you got a bunch of good levels there. Um, it was good for the members too because a lot of this hadn't happened yet, so this was all just a void here, which I had been telling everyone, you know, play versatile off my uh, levels because it can go either way. And here you can see that volume kind of died off and then picked back up before it started reversing. It broke that double top. That would have been my entries above that because that's a good resistance. But you could have played right off that level. It was good. As you saw, it was uh, it did that symmetrical triangle there before it actually pushed up above it. And then let's see... see how AMD did so I gave the members all these lines before they could actually before they could actually see do it all that and then bam which it actually ended up running more than that I think let's see no that was it that was all she gave so here's all the lines actually so I gave it before it did all this little move here <clears throat> It was probably good to just stay out of AMD today, which I had only posted it because Spy Spy was on a tear streak today, which that's the five minutes, so that doesn't help as much. But if you guys are trading, day trading and scalping, definitely switch between the, the time frames. You don't want to be stuck on just the one minute. You know, the five minutes very crucial. Uh, my, my good friend Gary, he really likes the 10 minute. Uh, it's the 15 day, 10 minute. And, uh, it's very good for confirmation. As you see, all I did was use the same lines, that middle line. I mean, it's good support there. Went up, had some problem here. I definitely would have been playing off this time frame if I saw this. Uh, you saw that weight go down. Buyers are holding that down. Might have been a good entry. Plus, your volume's a little bigger too, so it's a little more easy to watch. And let's go over Disney since that was the last one. I think these are all the lines I had in the picture. Yeah. Ninety four eighty five off the bounce. Ninety four eighty five off the bounce. Oh no, that was over here. Wow. I left at the wrong time for Disney. 
Whoever pointed that out, good job to you. That was a really good, uh, it's a really good break of that level as well as it peaking. My next level probably would have been 100 above that if I would have set more. Probably would have done 99 and then 100 for the psychological effect. That was a good little play there. Just drawing some lines, sorry. I, just, I see patterns and I just have to draw I'm like a kid. Um, but I'm really glad I went over that in both chats. Don't switch. Uh, let's see. I posted it in both TradeMate and here. Where is analysis? There it is. Just go to theirs. This is easier. I also posted what, posted what the strongest entry was. Strongest entry is always the break to test confirmation. Price was broken, then came down to confirm, which that's what that circle is. Uh, so I had alerted it before it even got to here. It's about on this bounce here. And I was telling people that really good entry would have been above above this line, just like I said in every other video. You don't want to get in here. You're not 100% sure they're going to keep control. You see, they easily gave it right back up. Here and here, and you have volume increasing. That's two huge indicators. That is what you should have entered on. That is beautiful. Volume increased, and you got increase in that. That is beautiful entry in this candle or top of this candle. Probably bottom of this candle, so you know that you're above this little peak here where they couldn't get past. That probably would have been best entry. So this is your level you're watching to break. This is where you were looking to enter. You know, you don't want to be you don't want to be super fast. You want to get in. Yeah, you you still would have profited getting in here, but you would have wasted a lot more time and been a lot more stressed. Stick to your analysis, and that's your true entry. One of those. So volume increase as well. I'm sure time and sales was going off pretty crazy as soon as it hit this. I only buy orders for the most part, I bet. So definitely uh definitely keep playing that. And if you have any questions, DM me. I'm always here. Make a comment on the video. But uh, if you like this, like the video, please subscribe to the channel. It helps. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.